I wanna invite my friend, uh, Steve Markham, who's also an elder at the church, who's also the treasurer of the church, to make an exciting announcement and invitation. So Steve, thank you. Hey, good morning, Grace. Uh, my name's Steve Markham, and uh, I volunteer as the treasurer here at the church. And uh, a couple months ago, uh, the room was a lot less full, but I, I get to go up here once a year and make a, a presentation of the financials. And during that presentation, I strayed from what you're supposed to do, which is just report on the financials. I decided to bring my own opinion into the uh, presentation in regards to the general giving amount in our budget for this year. And I just made a comment that I would love to see it increase 20% or more above what we projected because that would put us in a, let's call it pre-COVID level percentage of the budget giving a healthy representation of the church's financials. Well, that innocent comment, uh, unwarranted and unplanned, resonated with some of the elders. And some of them all considered it a call to action, and they held a special elders meeting to discuss the church financials and the health of the church. And what they came up with is that we need to reinstitute a pledge or a giving campaign. But at the same time, the elders said, well, if we can't lead from the front, as leaders of the church and show their congregation that we're willing to be all in, then it's not the right message. So the elders and the church staff took a couple weeks to prayerfully consider with their families what they could do to make a difference in the health of the church financially. And the results I think were outstanding. Um, you'll see in the pamphlets that we're giving out today that the leaders of the church have, a over, have pledged a 40% increase over their givings last year. And, and I think that result gave us the confidence to bring it back to the congregation in general and say that we would like you to take that same challenge, to prayerfully consider with your family, individually, personally, with God, on what you feel like you could give to help impact the church financially. Because it doesn't just impact our church, it impacts what we can do in the community, to our mission partners. It means so much to so many people. And we are all blessed to have a wonderful, loving church family. And our ability to give to each other and the community is a representation of that. And it's my hope that you all answer that challenge. I will tell you that um, from my personal experience, I've never been more personally, professionally, and spiritually satisfied um, through my increased giving financially and of my time to the church. And I hope that you all um, think about that when you're making those decisions, and I hope that you all participate. And I'll try to limit uh, my own opinions next year in the financial presentation. No, no. No, no. That was an unplanned uh, comment, but it was planned all along by God, the Holy Spirit. And so uh, we know that, we trust that, and we thank you, Steve, uh, for leading uh, the way and for all the other elders and staff for leading the way with that sacrificial um, commitment uh, that Steve spoke of. And um, that's important. And uh, I've, I've said before, I always say that I, as a pastor, will never um, seek uh, sacrificial giving or um, any commitments from the church if, if I'm not doing that myself. So I hope you know that, that Christy and I, our kids, we're all in uh, with this uh, financially and otherwise. Uh, we believe in it. We believe in what God's doing here at Grace. Uh, and we want to invite and encourage you to be a part of that as well as the Lord leads. And, and that's our hope is that these next couple of weeks, as we think about that, that you'll uh, intentionally go to God in prayer as to how he might lead you to stretch or to sacrifice uh, for his glory, um, that you know more of his fruit might be born through this church and impacts might be made in hearts and lives here, but also way beyond here, as uh, Steve spoke in the community and uh, beyond the region and the world. So uh, that's our hope and our prayer and, and our trust. So we're excited about that. Thank you, Steve, so much. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, invite, I'm gonna invite the ushers forward uh, as we prepare to receive the offering. And uh, but let's go to God in prayer as we prepare for that. Let's pray. Father, thank you so much uh, for Steve Markham, Lord, for using that unplanned comment uh, all in your plan. And we're grateful for that, Lord. We're grateful for the leadership of the elders of this church whom you have called through this congregation uh, to serve and to sacrifice and to lead the way. Uh, we thank you for the staff of the church and the partnership we can all share together. We thank you, God, for the congregation of the church. Uh, we all and always want to glorify you through our lives, our 
living or giving. And uh, so that's our prayer for this offering collected today. That's our prayer for commitments made uh, today and in, in the next few weeks, throughout the year, God, and all the years. Use us, use our gifts, our offerings, these tithes and offerings, all for your glory, for the good of your church, through your church, for the good of the world. In the name of Jesus, amen. Please turn your attention to the video. <laughs> 